Hey everybody, what is going on? It is your boy Chris Avalon here. I just had to jump online really quick because I needed to talk about a couple of things that just came out last night and I was like, I can't wait till Saturday to talk about this. Basically, I'm just gonna call this the bitch better have my money and receipts edition because it is a lot that has been going on. So, early in the week we had something that came out, something or another about Monique going and revealing more stuff about because you know she's been going through her little situation of being in her beefs with Tyler Perry and and um Lee Daniels and still speaking out about the injustices that she has endured in the industry from them and that whole situation with Precious so early in the week she had released a video um not a video actually it was an audio so she released audio of a private conversation that she had with Tyler Perry where he actually admitted that she was treated unfairly with the whole you know difficult to work with reputation and that she should have been financially compensated when she was supposed to go overseas to promote Precious and you know when she was trying to go around promoting it for the Oscars to get that Oscar nomination which she ended up winning the award so she leaked information a private conversation where he was um admitting this and a whole bunch of other stuff that was transpiring from them if um it's on uh, what was the website? Because I did put it up to make sure. I think it was the Grio. So if you go on the Grio's website, um, wait, no, it was Rolling Out. My fault. Rolling Out. If you go on and look it up on Rolling Out, you'll hear the audio where basically um, he's admitting all of this. While, and the next story I'm going to get into is like, you know what? I see where where she's coming from for the overall frustration of how snaky people in this industry is especially when Tyler said that he would financially compensate her and she said she never received a payment from him so um we have people and I don't know why people are surprised by this that they tell you that they're going to be there to support you they're going to be there to help you out this and the other oh it's not right this that and the third but they'll say something completely different when they're around their actual people that are treating you like crap so it's like if Oprah did you wrong or whatever, oh, no, we can't say nothing negative about them. And I just think it's ridiculous and it's unfair. But the way, Mo I, like, I'm with her on a lot of her speaking out on the way things happen in this industry. However, her the way she moves and the way her husband moves is tacky. Now I feel like any conversation that you have with Monique, you got to make sure, like, you got to have that in person and make sure the phones ain't around or whatever the case is because she records everything and she's, Revealing personal information just to prove that, just to prove a point that she's not lying in the setting. I get that because you can't believe half the stuff they tell you in Hollywood, especially when you're meeting with a lot of these people and you think they're your friends. It's all bullshit at the end of the day. But for her to be leaking personal information, I just think it's tacky, but at least it gives us an insight into people like Tyler Perry and people like the one I'm about to get into, Lee Daniels, who will financially benefit off the culture, but gives nothing back to the culture. Because if you look at all of um, Tyler Perry's shit, it's the same dumb crap that he always talks about. Um, it, it literally looks like Diary of a Mad Black Woman that he just regurgitates that same plot line and that whole storyline, and the women are always the same, the women go through the same stuff. It's like he regurgitates the same damn movies. Um, and that's kind of like why I just don't have that wherewithal to be into him in that way. I'm not really a fan of his movies. I liked all the stuff in the beginning, but it's like as he became bigger, it just feels like to me the same, there's no versatility, there's no evolution in regards of the type of stuff he does. I mean, I know you have an audience for me, even your audience, and I know some of your audience because some of your audience is my mother, my sister, my aunts, a lot of them who watch Tyler Perry stuff, they'll all say it's the same damn shit he's always giving you. But they watch because it's Tyler Perry and they feel they need to support. And that's kind of like the type of stuff that they're into. Um, now, in regards of the next story, where um, we had Dame Dash, and this is where I thought, because I, based off of what it was looking like, a friend of mine sent me the um, information last night. He basically hit me up on Instagram in my messenger and sent me the video from Dame Dash's Instagram, which I posted on my Instagram, Chris Avalon blog, if you want to check it out. Um, I went on and posted on my Instagram something or another about the video where you see someone was secretly recording, or maybe it was somebody within Dame's camp, Dame Dash confronting um, Lee Daniels at a 
event, like a musical event. I thought it was church because he had the prayer cloth around his shoulders and you saw a little cross on his on his wrist, like the little bracelet or whatever. So I thought they was up in there receiving Jesus and he's in there literally like, bitch, better, you better have my money. Where's my money? Like, how you doing that? And you supposed to be praising the Lord. That's what I thought. But apparently then someone was saying that that was a Diana Ross concert because you could hear a woman that sounds very much like Diana Ross in the background talking. So, I don't know. But let's just say public event. I don't know exactly where they was at, so we'll just say they were out of the public event. Dame scraped a couple of dollars together to get up in that event to to confront Lee Daniels on um, the $2 million that he feels that he should have paid him back. Now, I thought also that this was money that he lent him for Precious, which I would have been like, well... Now you see why that you know Monique didn't get the money she was supposed to get because Lee didn't have no money. But apparently, according to um Dame's Instagram, he basically said, and I'm gonna read it because you know I like to have all my facts instead of just going around just paraphrasing. He basically said, I straight up loaned this dude Lee Daniels at the original Big Daddy. Two million to pay for his dream of being a director. It was the money I was using to fund my movies and stay indie. He promised I'd get my money back in months. Then he makes precious and goes missing so he doesn't have to pay me. Then the butler, Empire, same shit. Why does this dude feel like he doesn't have to pay me? Why do I have to look crazy to get my money back or go to court? Ask at the original Big Daddy why he doesn't feel like he has to pay me even though he has it. What type of shit is this? Hashtag pay what you owe. I'm going to put this whole thing on my IGTV in a few. True definition of a culture vulture. Eats off the culture but robs the culture at the same time. See you go uh, back in court. You're going to pay me what you owe me. Please, everyone, ask him why he... Well, there's a couple of misspellings in there, but I'm reading it as it should have been read. Ask him why he doesn't think he has to pay me. Um... This happens a lot in the industry, but the worst part is when your own kind do this shit to you. There's nothing worse than when you got, when you, you know, you, people always say you don't invest in your own community. You don't invest in your own people. Here, Dame decided to do that. He decided to give um, Lee Daniels some money to get his career started. And a lot of times you get a lot of people in this business that the minute they hit a certain plateau in their career, the minute they get to a certain point in their career, all of a sudden they don't know you. You ain't never existed. Um, they act like they don't know your name. They act like you ain't shit. And it's like, I always say this, the same pe people you insult on the way up, eventually your ass gotta come down and see them saying goddamn people that you fucked over. So, Lee's another one that I have my trepidations with. Like, in the beginning, I liked all his movies, but a lot of that shame, same stuff that he does is cyclical. Um, he's in the same boat as a Tyler Perry in regards of regurgitating the same type of film where you get the the most diminished the 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 most stereotypical black folk you see everybody's always either strung out from the hood was in jail um a gangster a drug dealer like when you're a person in a certain place of power you can't come up with something where you empower your own damn people but i guess they feel like you know if I perpetuate this certain image, that this is what a lot of people want to see. So my thing is, when I look at people like a Lee Daniels and I look at people like a Tyler Perry, the best thing to do is go in and just do your job and just get in and get out and try to do what you can. And I think artists need to try to figure this out too. Figure out how you can take your career into your hands and create a pub... A, um, I was going to say publishing company. But create your own production company, not publishing company. I mean, unless you're a writer and you want to publish your stuff, that's different. But um, create your own production company where you can pretty much get your stuff out there and have your own career in your own hands instead of relying on this one and that one. I mean, it's good to try to make um, business with a lot of these people, but don't screw you over faster than the other people. Now, I do wonder if, you know, if... Lee's ever borrowed some money from some white folks, how fast he paid them back. But my thing is this. It looks ugly on you, Lee. You were sitting up in there bullshit. Now, I could tell from the body language you was bullshitting Dane. Where you were sitting there trying to act like, oh, yeah, I'm going to give you your number. We're going to... No. You had plenty of time to do that. This happened back what? That you took him... It says you took him um, to court. Um, 
that went to court, I believe around 2015, it says they settled the suit with Dame's attorney, saying it was a creative fair settlement that calls for them to work together in the not-so-distant future, and it says that apparently never happened, and Dame wants his money back. So they were supposed to work together, things didn't happen the way it was supposed to, so there was a situation that happened in 2015 where it was settled, and he's like, I want to return to my investment. Look, Everybody knows, like, if I'm pay- if I'm lending you two million dollars, that is not you know something I'm giving you out of the kindness of my heart unless we fucking. And I don't know how Dame gets down, but I do know in hip hop there's a lot of men that do some stuff behind the scenes. So I'm not trying to say that Dame is like one of those people. But if we're friends and I'm looking out for you and I'm giving you two million dollars to make your dreams come true, I'm expecting a return on my investment, meaning that you will take me in and and. I can produce some, we can produce some stuff together, or you can help me out with a couple of things, especially since Dame and Monique, the thing that these two have in common is that they have, they're kind of the black sheeps of black Hollywood right now. Like Monique is diff, very difficult for her to get work. I've seen because she's ruffled a lot of feathers. She has that reputation. Like we was talking about earlier and people have seen how she's been moving in this business. So basically what she has is her Periscope thing. And I know she does some stand up, but as far as acting goes, I haven't really seen her anything. And Dame, the last thing I know he was on is, um, grown up hip hop. I haven't watched the new season. Cause I just like that show is so corny to me. I did give it a chance twice. I did watch the first two seasons, but I'm just like, Ugh, who cares? And I know Dame's son is on that show. So, and from the two scenes I've watched, Dame has made appearances. So I don't know if he gets a check from that or whatever, but you know, when you're a black sheep, you got to go and, and you're having a hard time making ends meet and surviving in this business because a lot of people don't want to mess with you or whatever the case is. I don't know how he's making his money, but you know what? You got to start knocking on them doors and, and start squeezing the juice out of the orange as much as you can and going to them people and being like, you know what? I need my money back. Bitch better have my money in the words of Rihanna. So Lee, pay the man. Give him what he needs because this shit has gone viral. People are looking at you crazy and you know how black how, and black Twitter is. They will go roast and gag your ass. So give the man his coin. And um, yeah, that's that. Also, I want to give uh, my condolences to... Um, I just want to make sure I have everything that I um, took on. I want to give my condolences to Joe Jackson. You know, the the patriarch of the Jackson clan. Michael, Janet, Reby. Latoya, Randy, and the rest. He passed away today um, after a battle with terminal cancer. I know last week they were saying he was sick and he was in the hospital and there was a whole drama back and forth with the family, whether or not they could see him or the fact that he didn't want them around. But the word is he passed away from terminal cancer, so my condolences go to him. I know it's got to be hard on the family and it's just, it's a lot. Especially to lose a parent. I mean, I don't know what that's like, but I can imagine. So, um... I just want to say thank you all for watching and taking out this video. Give me your thoughts and opinions on this. Um, if you like videos like this, you want to hear more stuff, be sure to follow me, like subscribe, click the bell every time I put up a video. Um, also follow me on Instagram, Chris Avalon Blog, Facebook, look me up, Chris Avalon, Chris Avalon NYC, Twitter, and yeah, that's it. So love you all for watching, and I will keep posting as many videos as I possibly can because, you know, there's always going to be something dropping a mile a minute. So love you all. Talk to you soon.